guide us. And so every morning it has to be the conscious decision to follow him.
number of announcements. First and foremost, this Tuesday, we are having our feeding ministry at University of Houston. I believe we have a lot of food, but what we need are people to, to uh, share the good news, share the love that God has given us to these college students who are not only hungry for Filipino food, but hungry for hope and hungry for the truth, hungry for the word of God. So if you are available, make yourself, please make yourself available this Tuesday. It'll be from 11 to 2 at the, uh, at the Religious Center at U University of Houston. Uh, if you need uh, transportation, if you need help with that, or if you want to donate even more, please uh, talk to Rosie Irving. Back there. Amen. <clears throat> April 19th is the Good Friday service. It'll be here at this uh, church at 7 p.m. It'll be just us, so will be nice and intimate and cozy, so please uh, uh, make plans to join us at 7 p.m. April 21st, we will um, start our modern worship service, and this is our Easter service, right? So we're, we're having two services. Uh, we still need volunteers. We do have <clears throat> main teachers to cover Sunday school classes for both times, but what we need in volunteer-wise is substitute teachers. So if you're thinking about, well, I can handle teaching every once in a while, you're perfect for this. If you are interested, please uh, seek out uh, Cecil Leonardo's to help in this volunteer uh, ministry. Um, the fun run, oh, I'm sorry, Easter, you know, we also have an Easter egg hunt, although, you know, it might not be found in the Bible. We, we do love uh, uh, treating our kids. But we do um, need Easter egg donations. And this is important because we're actually having two Easter egg hunts, one after each service, so that we don't leave any kids out. If you could donate these double donations right next week, I, I think uh, any of the children's ministry will accept it. Um, please bring candies without peanuts, of course. Um, oh, the, if you want to donate, the, the box, there'll be boxes. Uh, designated out in the foyer uh, for these candies or plastic eggs, right? Amen. And then the fun run is coming up also April 27th, Saturday from 8.30 to 2. So, of course, we have, we have fun. Some people do run, but definitely they'll be eating, they'll be worshiping, There'll be game playing, uh, there'll be fellowship. Uh, it'll be here at the church grounds, so if you don't want to miss that, please make plans April um, 27th. There's no comment, there's no cooking competition in this one, right, is there? It's just your personal bragging rights, right? Bragging for the Lord. Amen. All right, so it is now time for the giving of our pledges, ourselves, and our tithes. Let me. Uh, just to give a quick prayer for those celebrating their birthdays. There's many, like today is R.J. Murphy, <laughs> April 10th, Alexa Gonzalez, April 11th, uh, Nina Nikki Dumlao, <laughs> Ryan Josh Libataki, <laughs> wow. and Bella Chan, <laughs> and then Joel Oi. So don't, don't confuse your gift, your financial gift to him with our with our giving today. And then anniversaries today, Elmer and Lenny Boronaga. <laughs> Join me in a prayer for, for these Thanksgivings. Oh, Heavenly Father, you are the giver of all good and perfect gifts. You have allowed us to manage uh, what uh, we have for you, dear Lord, where we realize it's not really for us, but it is for your kingdom and for your ministry, for your glory, for your holy name. Lord, we pray that we might be found obedient in all these areas to give all these to you, to give lordship over these things to you, dear Lord, that they would always be pleasing to you. And we, Father, we ask that you would uh, continue to bless those who are celebrating anniversaries and birthdays, how special uh, each and every moment we have here to, uh, to honor and glorify you as you prepare us and cover us with your so that we might be found righteous uh, in your eyes forever and ever. 
Oh God, please hear our prayers today and accept these wonderful offerings, especially uh, these songs for you. We ask all this most precious name. Amen.
continue in the spirit of humble worship as we lift up our thanksgivings, our joys, our concerns, our prayers to our Lord. Heavenly Father, O oh God, you are King of Kings, you are Lord of Lords, you are above all things. There is nothing that you uh, cannot do. All that you do, you are able to and you desire to because you are God. Heavenly Father, you are able to say what is right and what is wrong because you are holy and set apart. And you have called us, your children, your people, your holy nation, because you have set us apart, even from the very beginning. Heavenly Father, we know that you continue to work in us. We are not uh, perfect, but you are perfect. Heavenly Father, you present us to your Father, O oh Jesus, because you are able to show that your perfect life is now our perfect life. And the sin that we committed, and the pain that we gave to you, Almighty God, has been washed away. My Father, we realize, O oh Lord, that we do things that we can't forgive ourselves, that we have a hard time forgiving ourselves for, Almighty God. But we remember that when you were on the cross, you forgive those who killed you, who were jeering you, who were throwing insults at you. Almighty Father, you have said you have forgiven us, and we have accepted this free gift of salvation in you, O Lord. May you continue to work in us so that we would go out boldly and not be cowering in fear, thinking that we are not worthy. You have made us worthy because you are worthy. Heavenly Father, we continue to pray that you would allow us to be bold in our witness to you, dear Lord. A witness to this world that needs to see that there is hope, that there is something beyond just existing, that there is a purpose, a goal, a mission that you have called us to, Almighty Lord that you have called us into this wonderful body of believers to honor you and glorify you, to encourage each other, Almighty God, and to work in such a way that the world will see us loving each other, encouraging each other, and being obedient to you, and, and knowing that you are here in this place. Heavenly Father, may your word become so real to our lives each and every day as we study your word, as we lift up uh, what we learn about you that is so incredible up to you in worship, Almighty God. May you continue to open our eyes to see where you're leading us so that we might be found obedient. For that is our desire, to be satisfied by you alone, to be satisfied in our obedience to you, Heavenly Father, we don't want to just exist. We don't want to just pass time by. But we want to make a difference in people knowing you, in, in, in understanding that there is a free gift of salvation that you offer because you want them to understand this wonderful love that you have shared with us all. Heavenly Father, we ask the Lord that if there is any part of this church that is not pleasing to you dear Lord may they be uh, accountable to you oh holy God we, lift, we seek to lift up every part of our ministries of our church in prayer up to you Almighty God but we know that you are over all things and that anything that is keeping us from fully being obedient to you and, and worshiping you with all that we are, that you will make it known. We pray especially, O oh Lord, that you would bless uh, our plans for um, this children's ministry, um, for uh, the security for our, for these children that we uh, are lifting up to you. We are um, using a, a new application uh, that we are asking our
congregates to download and use so that we can print out these armbands so that they would uh, not only uh, we could have safety for our children but that they could receive messages instantly on any concerns uh, for the kids. We pray that you would bless this system, that you would allow us to uh, utilize the, the, the new laptops that we've acquired for this uh, ministry, oh Lord, and that our children would be able to learn fully uh, in this safe environment. Oh God, we pray for the teachers, uh, for these, uh, for our children, that you would give them a heart, to, a desire to not just uh, do work, but to have a, such an overwhelming joy that they want to share with uh, our children and our future generations, oh Lord. We pray that you would watch over their marriages, that you would continue to be in their family relationships, that they would be fully supported in every way. We pray for those who are seeking out ministries within this church, oh Lord. Those who know, have a talent, who have a gifting, and are not currently using it for you. We ask, oh Lord, that you would move them, to give them a desire to choose to be obedient to you when faced with your presence in their lives, as you've answered their prayers, as you've revealed yourself in miraculous ways, Almighty oh God. We pray, O oh Lord, that you would continue to use our church not only locally, but uh, throughout this whole city, Almighty oh Father, that we would uh, be a shining light to you, Lord, as you reveal your holy light uh, through, our, to, through our ministry, that you would share your own your mercy and your grace throughout every part of the city, oh my God, that there would not be a people group that would not have an opportunity to know, oh Lord, that you are God. Dear Lord, please reveal uh, even more to us how wonderful you are, even through this message today. We pray that you would lay your hand on Pastor James, that you would give him a double portion of your blessing, that you would continue to allow him to speak boldly because he you have given him the boldness to speak for you. Oh God, we ask all this most precious in your Jesus.